what is going on everybody it is your boy cryptic here coming at you with another video guys in this video today uh yeah i know it took three months off i've got a video coming out explaining why i did but today ladies and gentlemen we are doing something that i love something that i cherish deeply something that makes me happy it's my go-to when i'm sad and that my friends is fast food now you know your boy likes to eat he's got some opinions on these i saw a couple of other youtubers and people that make content do their own version of the tier list of fast food now there's some of these down here that i don't have an opinion on simply because of the area that i'm in we do not have um like we don't have whataburger but i've had it so i can put it up there we don't have do we have bojangles if so i've never been to it. if i haven't been to one of these restaurants I am not going to um, put them on the list just because I cannot judge them because uh, I haven't had it. But if there is something on here that I haven't had and you guys recommend that I try it, make sure you drop a comment down below telling me, you know, which one I should go to and what I should get from said location. Make sure to subscribe also while you're at it. It's free. We're on the road to 1K. So without further ado, guys, let's hop on into the tier list of fast food. Starting up for the first one, guys, we got Jack in the Box. Um, I haven't had Jack in the Box too much, but from the times that I liked it, I'd say it's a solid B tier. Uh, they've got churros, they've got burgers, like it's it's a B tier. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Uh, you could argue that I go in the C tier. Uh, oh, actually, there's a never had tier right here, so I can put that in there. But Jack in the Box, I think, would be a solid b tier if you're really really craving it next up we got panda express now i saw on some people's list that panda express was a low tier which shocked me it shocked me immensely because i'm a big big fan of uh panda express you know it, i don't have one in my area i have one like 20 30 minutes north but i i wouldn't say that i drive there specifically for panda express because there's other options so just for that simple fact, I think I'm going to put Panda Express in the A tier. Just because, you know, it's not something that I'd go out my way to go get because there's other options. Uh, S stuff, I if, if I don't have it around here, I'm going to drive to go get it. Panera Bread. Oh, boy. I haven't had Panera in a long, long time. Uh, Panera's good. You know, you got your bread bowls. You got your bread. I can't really think what's on Panera's menu. So, it didn't obviously make that good of an impression on me. Uh, so, Panera Bread. Gotta throw you in the B tier with Jack in the Box. Sorry, that's just, that's just what I gotta do. Quiznos. Sorry. Sonic. Up next is Sonic. Okay. So, let's talk a couple things from Sonic. Sonic has the, the nerd slushy or whatever. Which I thought was really, really good. I've only had it once, but it was really good. Uh, and then... Let, besides food, let's talk aesthetics. So, Sonic is has its own little thing going where like you drive up, and uh, you drive up to your own car slot, and you press the button, and you get a you get a person like, you, like there's more, it's like a drive through, but a parking space, which I think that's god tier. And I think they come out on roller skates. I could be wrong. Uh, um. So, Sonic, I'm going to have to put Sonic, shoot, I want to put that in the B tier as well. It's good, but, actually, I'm going to move, sorry, Jack, I'm putting you in C. I got to put you in C, dog. Sorry, brother. Whataburger. Okay, so, the only time that I've had Whataburger, I was on my way home from Florida, and I was going north, and they had one uh, in Alabama, I think? So, Jack in the box... Jack in the box. I lost sight of where I was. Whataburger. Whataburger has amazing chocolate shakes. Their burgers are all right. So I'm gonna have to put Whataburger in the C tier just because you know. Yeah. Next up, good old Ronnie McDonald. Uh, fries. Okay, so McDonald's is a hit or miss, right? If their fries are bad, ruins the experience. If you don't get a vanilla milkshake with your fries, you're doing life wrong. I'm telling you that right now, your opinion is invalidated. Uh, McDonald's. On a good day, I could put that in the A tier. Ah, put, mm, put that in. I'll put it in B tier. 
right next to Sonic. I love Ronnie McDonald Dodds. It's pretty dang good, you know? So, I'm going to have to put that in the B tier. Also, let's talk for a second on their new crispy chicken sandwich. Because if you don't think that is a blatant ripoff of the Chick-fil-A sandwich, you are wrong. And I'm sorry, but leave the video. Go somewhere else. It is a blatant ripoff of the Chick-fil-A sandwich. It is. From the packaging to the, the taste, it is a wannabe Chick-fil-A sandwich. So, I don't think I see Chick-fil-A on this menu. Oh, there she is. Up next, we got... I don't know what you are. Okay. <laughs> KFC. Okay. KFC. I already have an answer for this. KFC. E, e tier. Easily. It's not the worst. But it's not good. If I want chicken, I'm going to Popeye's, right? I. It's just... It's an E tier. Easily an E tier. You can argue for a D tier, but I, I'm going to say KFC in the E tier. Uh... Arbus. Uh, okay. I get cravings for Arby's maybe once or twice a year. Uh, roast beef, really, really good. Their chicken sandwich is really, really good. So for that, I'm going to have to put Arby's in the D tier. So, yeah. Subway. I always get a chicken bacon ranch melt uh, on flatbread. Toasted. So, Subway, you're a healthy option. So I'm going to have to put you put you in C tier so Bojangles I think there's one up north but I've never had Bojangles so if I should try it let me know oh next we got the king himself Mr. Burger King uh Burger King kind of the same deal with McDonald's right if the fries are off it ruins the experience Whoppers I will say this a Whopper is better than a Big Mac I will say that but the Big Mac sauce is god tier. I put, I ask, when I go up to McDonald's, right, I ask for an extra thing of uh, a Big Mac sauce. So I get that with my fries, but Burger King does not have that distinct sauce that I can just put on my fries or it's on their burger. It's just like the basic stuff, right? So for that, I'm going to have to put Burger King in the C tier just because it doesn't have like that thing, you know? Uh, up next, Carl's Jr. Is this the same as Hardee's? Is Carl's Jr. the... Hold up. Is Carl's Jr. the same as Arby's? <laughs> I'm going to say they do the same thing. And, you know, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Uh, so, Carl's Jr. slash Hardee's. Um, I used to... Okay, I love their breakfast. Let me just say, I don't, I don't think I've had, like, a burger from Carl's Jr. or Hardee's. Um, so I love their breakfast. I think it's great. You know, their coffee's great. Um, uh, their sausage, egg, and cheese slaps. For that, I'm going to have to put Carl's Jr. in the C tier just because I haven't had other things from it. So it's going to have to go there, right? Um, sorry. <laughs> cookout? What's cookout? I've never had cookout. <laughs> If you guys have, please let me know, because I don't know what that is. Um, Up next, we got Dairy Queen. I used to work for Dairy Queen, fun fact. Uh, chicken fingers, god tier. Flamethrower burger, freaking phenomenal, right? So, Dairy Queen, you've got to go in the B tier. Uh, we only got one Panda Express. But then you got your... Got your uh I'm gonna put it in an A tier. I'm gonna put it in an A tier. Just cause you know you got your uh thick ice cream Blizzards, that's what they're called. They're called blizzards. I blizzards is pretty dang good. Okay, Domino's Pizza. Let's talk, right? I currently work for a pizza place. I won't disclose the name, but I work for a pizza place, and our pizza is significantly better than Domino's just because our stuff is made homemade so I obviously have a different take on Domino's but if I had to get a pizza that was not the place that I worked at I would go to Domino's so for that Domino's you're getting a C tier that's just how it is enough said 
five guys this one's easy for me phenomenal burgers you know you got your peanuts that you can crack open the fries unmatched so you got to go a tier a tier five guys up next we got taco bell taco bell let's talk about taco bell okay taco bell has made some controversial decisions lately and <laughs> that is because they removed their quesaritos they removed a bunch of different stuff you know if taco bell removes the baja blast which i don't see happening if they remove it you will not catch me out of taco bell just because that is like that i feel like that's a staple of taco bell now now i will say the number one thing that i would order from them was a steak quesarito they took that away and now what i get is a chicken chicken chipotle melt is that what it's called Correct me if I'm wrong, but I get a chicken chipotle melt. So for that, Taco Bell, you're going in the B tier. Just because you removed a bunch of stuff that I liked. And I don't, I, I used to go to Taco Bell so often, and now I don't. Just because you guys remove what I love. What are you? <laughs> the varsity? What is that? All right, Chick fil A. Easily an A tier for me. Easily an A tier for me. Uh, Let's talk. So they've got this unique taste to their chicken right they've got a unique taste their service is really good their milkshake's phenomenal their lemonade is so so good uh so the for that guys chick-fil-a you in the a tier baby <laughs> popeyes mm -hmm. i know where this one belongs popeyes with their new chicken sandwich and i feel like their service around my area at least is pretty dang good so popeyes you're going in the b tier uh quiznos i've never had Wait, I just pulled from the wrong list. Sorry. Uh, Jimmy John's. Okay, so Jimmy John's is worse. I'd say Jimmy John's is worse than Subway. So it's got to go in the D tier, right? Just basic competitors. In and out. I've had In and Out. I went to California for a Black Ops uh, 4 event. And In and Out, phenomenal. Got myself, a, I think it was a 4 four by 4 So. In and Out Burger, you're going in the S tier. You are a God tier burger restaurant. Congratulations on your success. We got Moe's Southwest Grill. I haven't had Moe's that much, but I did like it. It is not better than Chipotle. I will say that. So Moe's, I think, belongs in the C tier, arguably the D tier. Um, you know, the one nearest to me did not have the best experience. Um, I won't say why, just because you know I don't want to bash any restaurants in this video. But, Moe's, you're going in the C tier. Up next, we got the Papa. Papa, you used to be my favorite. You used to be my favorite. Uh, and I don't remember what happened. But something in my mind just clicked. And Papa John's, in my mind, is below Domino's. So, Papa John's in the D tier? That doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right, but it does. I got I gotta move it up. Okay. Okay. I, I just switched my answers. So Domino's Pizza in the B tier and uh Papa John's in the C tier. Up next we got the hut. Pizza Hut. Right. I have not had Pizza Hut in several, several, several years. From what I've heard, this is not a go to place for pizza. For that, you're going in the E tier. We have not had any F tiers, so what are these? Sunshine 2 Rivers Pizza? I don't know what you are. I feel like I do. All right. Up next, we got good old Steak and Shake, right? Steak and Shake. Okay. I got to get this. Okay. I got... Okay. I'm going to go with the D tier for Steak and Shake. Fries, only good with their seasoning. Um, burgers, I'd rather have a Five Guys burger, if I'm 100% honest here. Okay, we got Little Caesars. We have our first F. Little Caesars is bad. It is in, it's not a good pizza. I'm sorry. Up next, we got Firehouse Subs. I'd say Firehouse Subs is better than Jimmy John's. So with that, you belong with Subway in the C tier. Wendy's. Oof, Wendy's. We got talk. Their spicy nuggets are unmatched. 
they are so much better than McDonald's spi spicy McNuggets or whatever they have. Right? So, Wendy's. Wendy's, I gotta put you at an A tier. You know, their burgers are pretty good, but their nuggets just top it all off for me. And, okay, this pretty much goes for any fast food restaurant. If their fries are not fresh, if they are not crispy and salted properly, they ruin the meal experience for me. That's how I said it. That's me, right? Sorry. Okay. Last but not least, we got Zaxby's. Zaxby's chicken, right? Pretty good. They got that Zaxby's sauce. Uh, but Zaxby's, for me, you are not above Chick-fil-A. For that, you've got to go in the A tier. It is really, really good when it's fresh and everything. I have not had you that much from what I did, though. Pretty good experience. You get bread, chicken, fries, I think, in a certain meal that I had. So, yeah. That is my list of um, fast food restaurants. So, if you guys agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm really happy to see your guys' responses. You know, start a conversation in the comments. So, without further ado, guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, let me know with a like and a comment down below. Subscribe as always guys. We're trying to hit 1k and I will see you all sometime soon. Love you guys to death and Adios Never be turning around never be turning around Hey, never be slowing it down never be slowing it down Hey, I keep my foot on the gas. I keep my foot on the gas. Hey, I know I'm never gonna crash